What is up, guys? It's your boy Nathan. We are back with another watch along. We have Liverpool taking on Crystal Palace at Anfield. With Liverpool looking to bounce back from a devastating home loss against Atalanta. 3 0. So let's see what they can do. One half of the three leg, one third of the three leg race has been run. Man City have done their job at yesterday early kickoff taking care of Luton now the second leg of three leg race would be Liverpool taking on Crystal Palace right now and it will be finished off it will be finished off with Arsenal taking on Aston Villa Paying respects to the Hillsborough disaster as, as always. Fortunately, people, a lot of people lost their lives. Here we go. Kick off about to begin. Shall read the lineups just as soon as the game starts. Take the knee. And we're off. Oh, there we go. Switch his play. Cross comes in. Oh. Great, great cross there. Great cross there by Tyreek Mitchell. Liberace is here with a shot, straight up first shot. Great hold up play by Mo Salah.
Oh, Ooh, nice ball there, but Bradley can't make it. Bradley cannot make that one. Yeah, hey, hello, Ariola, both benched. I feel in the mud. Oh no, I feel bad. Jay Lacey turns 17 today. Prospect from the United squad. Who was seen training last week actually for the Bournemouth game. That's interesting. There we go. Mo Salah. Great tackle there by Tyreek Mitchell. There we go. Oh, good defending there by Wataru in the Brian, who almost gives it back to his old squad. Yes, he's a former Liverpool player. I believe he came through the academy. Paqueta almost scored. All right, let's see the lineup, shall we? Really need West Ham to not uh, win today. Desperately, I would say. I really need Muniz to get some points. Player of the month, Rodrigo Muniz. Oh, yes. Good sussing out there by Abarechi. Here he goes. He's on a driving run. Here we go. Mateta. Let's see what the lineups are. West Ham is Fabianski, Sufal, Mavropanos, Aguad, Emerson, Ward Prowse, Paqueta, Kudus, Ings, Alvarez. Antonio. So check on the bench. No Bowen. No. 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 Yeah, thank you. Fulham has burned Leno, Bassi, Adarabio, Bio, Yo. Mouthful. Anthony Robinson, Timothy Castagne, Andres Pereira, William, Alex Bobby, Jao Palinia, Sasa Lukic, and Rodrigo Muniz. Let's go. Wait, what? Fulham scores? Andres Pereira. Timo. Timo Nunez straight to the goalkeeper. Andres Pereira scores. Come on, man. My guy. Doing, a, doing really well there. I'm happy for him. Fulham. He's been doing really well since he's moved to Fulham. Hello, Jayesh. What's up? What's up? Good evening. I'm feeling a bit like a zombie right now with all the hours of MMA I've watched. Today. Thank you. You're not going? You're not going? Ah, okay, you're checking if they're open. 
But I'm rocking everywhere. This is fa- this is fantastic. Yeah. Really, really happy for me. Really turned it around. Yeah. yeah, I mean, this guy just before joining Fulham was on loan to a Portuguese uh, to a Brazilian club. Yeah. We couldn't we couldn't find him anywhere to offload him. West Ham blunder. Fantastic. Better for us too. Better for us. Now we need a Aston Villa blunder. And uh, we still have. So I don't know how, man, but we still have a chance to do something. I still don't know how, but it's crazy. Crystal Palace uh, lineup is Henderson, Lerma, Anderson, Klein, Mitchell, Munoz, Hughes, Wharton, and forwards are Olise, Eze, Mateta. In MMA too, I mean, yeah, I know. That's why I understand what you meant. Yeah, seriously, man. Shout out to Blindado. Bruno Silva and uh, Blaovic, man. I don't know how they withstood the punches for 15 minutes each. Man. In fact, uh, Jan Blaovic not only withstood the punches, almost took it a split decision. That is seriously insane, considering what we have seen recently. And uh, Bruno Silva was a middleweight. At least Jan Blaovic, okay. In fact, Jan Blahovic, you could say, is slightly more impressive because it was a fully hydrated Pereira. <clears throat> but Bruno Silva, man, my God. Unbelievable. Alison Becker, Van Dijk, Konate, Robertson, Bradley, Vataru Endo, Curtis Jones, Alexis McAllister, Diaz, Nunez, Salah. Full strength Liverpool team, no excuses today. You can say no trend, but Connor Bradley has been doing really well at right back. For a kid, so no excuses. Timo Nunez already has got her one shot at goal. Bradley pulls it in. McAllister, he was offside, but had to leave it there. He was coming from an offside position. What are the games today? Is there any other good games going on? KKR seems to uh, be very comfortably winning at the moment. Their match against LSG. I don't know if LSG allowed Delhi to win a game now. They're like giving wins to everybody it looks like. 161 for 7, 121, 122 for 2 in 12.5. So they have 43 balls, 40 runs. Let's hope they don't do anything crazy like yesterday where they let it go down to the last over. Nathan hot take the more countries get developed the less people care about religions uh Pereira is the second who interesting thoughts I think that makes a lot of sense because I think UK is the best example of that right I think I think that's very uh possible makes sense in a way
Oh, tap in. And here comes it. Oh my God, that's it. No quadruple. No quadruple. Tap in, baby. It's an absolute tap in. As a, as easy as you like it. Yes, better than UK in terms of living standards. Yeah, I don't, I wouldn't agree with that at all, actually. As per living standards, what does that mean? What What is living standards to you? What is living standards in your, uh, according to you? I suppose it depends. Oh, uh, and, uh, and those legs and look at him, calm, composed. Tap in. Here we go. It has begun. You think people who don't follow religion are happy? I think so. It was the second most worst country to live in right now. Yeah, but we're not talking about right now, right? Like, you're only talking about right now. The landscape of the UK has changed drastically because of immigration and stuff. I think we'd have the same issue if we have the same immigration issues they had. Um, I, I, uh, is, I don't understand what are these metrics based on, but you're saying it's the second worst country in the world to live in, the UK. You have to give me actual metrics here. What are we talking about? Not really sure. I can think of plenty of places that are worse to live in this, in this world. Plenty. McAllister giving the ball a win as he's had a good game so far. Look at this. Still driving run. Foul. Clear foul. What? Wow. Interesting. Interesting. Look like a foul there impeding the impeding the run, but interesting. So if they have a job or anything for sustainability, yeah, they'll be happy in my opinion. Makes sense because in developed countries, people live in better socio-eco conditions. People tend to uh, use it for support. We live a less privileged life. Yeah. Like I said it makes sense to me too, but uh, it's not guaranteed, right? It's not guaranteed, but I think yeah, more developed places do do that. Oh, here we go. Here we go. 2-1. Mateta. 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 What? Goal line clearance. Wow. Wow. Hello, Jensen. I'm good, buddy. How are you? Long time no see. Hopefully everything is good. If you're free, do... Uh you join us for the later watch along we are doing the arsenal Aston villa one as well as of now the second leg in the three leg race is not looking good right now oh my god van dyke did a slippy g i mean mateta should have hit it with mateta should have definitely hit it with more force man that's mad oh look at that look at that clearance by uh, robertson not guaranteed, but on average, yeah. Of course, not guaranteed. You can still be religious living in a developed country. But yeah. 
Lanham was regarded as seven was city. Could you believe it? Uh, second, se- uh, but I, what is the metrics, Matthew? You're just telling me a number. Like, what is it based on? I can think of many worst cities you can live in. Seventh worst in the world. I don't know. I don't know what is this actually based on. I can't really comment. However, the religion thing I can comment on because it makes a lot of sense. Not the way of living, not the financial side, but the spiritual side. Some weird stuff today. I opened Spotify today after two, three pop-ups. One pop-up emerged and said rap is a competitive sport with a Drake pick. Listen now, I found out it was a diss track. It was a diss track. Imagine being so privileged that the biggest problem in your life is identify your roast to America. I mean, listen, to it. there's a lot of countries that are slowly moving. You think Americans are bad. Have you seen what's going on in Canada? Way worse. I'm not well, so could be better, but I'm okay. What's going on, Jensen? Uh, what's going on? What's been happening with you? What's been happening with you? Pool at third. Yep. As it stands right now. It's not looking good, bruv. Hey, what? This is what our fan base wanted. The team got to prove it now. Exactly. Exactly. And the, here's the best part. I mean, it was nice for us at least, but we have not capitalized on it. But hopefully Arsenal can. This is the third week out of the last five, I think, where Spurs and Aston Villa have dropped points. And we have also dropped points instead of catching up with them. So let's see now Arsenal's getting their opportunity here to stay with the pack or leave people behind. As of now, Liverpool's looking on the, uh, looking at back-to-back home losses in a span of three days, which is interesting. That second goal would have put real pressure on Liverpool. Unfortunately, it didn't cross the line. But yeah. Let's be real. These immigrants who just spoil a country and try to change the culture are the reason people aren't happy in there. Yeah, I mean, but some of those immigrants are us. But isn't that with every country? But who knows, man? Who knows? Sometimes government policies don't help. Depends upon everyone's perspective. Some will be happy, some won't. People find creative ways to launch their music or music platforms. Liverpool are a little too relaxed here. It's almost like they want to lose. That's not out? Yes. Oh boy, Lerma's on the ground. That's not a good sign. Hello, Tualumba. Good evening. We are quarter of the way up almost. 21 minutes. Ooh, oh, that was an awkward landing. It's a very awkward landing. Landing. Oh, the peaceful people are more in their way more than Indians. Ah. I, I, I can't really attest to any of this. This is all hearsay, really. But, uh, and everyone's country's got to deal with their own problems. Oh, read through. Nunez, what a block by Lerma. What a block. Atlanta shook them up big time. The midfield haven't fought for titles before, yeah? It's a good point. It's a good point. Liverpool. Gotta clear it. Gotta clear it, Oli say. Yes, good defending there. Goal kick for Crystal Palace. I 
I just have a head cold problem as I don't get ill often so it's bad when I do get something oh boy imagine they only when the karabakh or what a farewell that would be uh, quite amusing a laugh at us at dts first exactly that that's exactly what would be amusing Do you see the situation in Nigeria? They want to divide and make South and North Nigeria. Oh, good lord! Well, salt is a bargain. Ah, oh, it looks like Liverpool is getting a little desperate here. Man, they're so, but their forwards are so inconsistent, man. Like seriously, Jota is so much better than Nunez and and Luis Diaz. They're really missing Jota, dude. Like Jota is so clinically, so composed. I mean, these two guys are so frantic. Yeah. Luis Diaz and uh, and uh, Darwin Juniors. They're so so frantic. It's unbelievable. Jota is so cold as a finisher, man. If Ayer plays at this strike rate, he can forget T20 internationals. Phil Salt is a bargain. Okay. I don't know who Phil Salt is, but LSG one sixty shield got broken in two consecutive matches. Bro, I can't believe it, man. Like they allowed Delhi to win a game, which is interesting. Oh, David Nunez, he's again so frantic. So, so frantic. I need a Diaz hat trick and a Palace win. Yeah, yeah. You, I, I'm going to tell you right now, you're getting neither. You might get neither. The Palace win seems more likely right now. Oh, that 2 0 would have been so good, man. Seriously. Great save there by Robertson. You ever want to play football again in the Wanke Day? Yeah, I don't think we have much of a choice, do we? One fifty-eight for two. My God. I was on eleven point five. No, what? Twelve point five. They needed forty runs. Wow. Wow. They really did a smashing job on them, didn't they? Two runs to win KKR. Oh, Phil Salt is the KKR guy. Got it. Wow. Oh, here we go. Robertson through. Cleared by Joachim Anderson. Phil Salt, 89. Oh, that's it. Game over. Yeah, game over. KKR won with... Four point two overs to spare eight wickets. So Neil Narayan six runs didn't get any luck this time. Raghuvanshi seven runs. Ayer thirty eight and thirty eight balls. That's absolutely horrendous. Oh my god! Thirteen wides given by LSG out of twenty two extras. LS LSG are losing their momentum, aren't they? Oh, off the post. Cleared. Still outside the box. Lovely there. Oh, behave, man. He clearly won the ball. Look at uh, Alexis McAllister, man. Cross comes in. Nunez can't get under the ball. You deserve to win the GT game. Now oh, these guys will beat us at Tuesday. Bro, they let... Listen, man. Any team that lets Delhi win a game decisively, you have to worry about them. You know, if you're their fans. Because they won it decisively the other day. It's one thing when you scrape a win, you know, a win is a win. But if you scrape it and when you dominate, it's different. 
Delhi had pretty much control over that game, which is crazy. So I wouldn't be that worried if I were you. LSG at one point of time was third on the table. I wonder where they are right now. In my book, we have two trophies, GTA and team. <laughs> Cross comes in, open. Wow, I actually thought the ball went in there. I'm not going to lie. What a, what a save by Henderson. We are playing KKR. Oh, you are playing KKR. Eh, I should be worried about that one. Oh my God, he flailed at it, but he saved it. Perfect, good reflexes there by Henderson. Man, that second goal would have really deadened the game, man. Seriously. Cross comes in. Flying head over Konate. That was a really good shot, actually. Slams it to the bar. Okay, they're getting a bit of luck here. Ethan doing what? <laughs> no, dude. I just couldn't believe he saved that because I thought it smashed into the net. So that's one game done. Fulham still currently leading right now. 32 minutes. Goal by Andres. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Pass it to easy. Easy. Tap in. Oh no. Wait, it's some Robin. You can't think, dude. Oh my god. I don't know what Mateta was trying to do there, but he was offside. Oh, he's way off, man. What was the point of that pass? the point of that pass you can see he's offside I don't understand that at all why he did that but that's a balling out he's trying to Robinho his way in this game dude hey hey McAllis what oh this is not a great position for a free kick What, he looked like he won the ball? Oh, autocorrect, lol. Apparently, US facing population crisis, a country with 400 million people, by the way. Fulham still leading there. Taking it. Oh, why is Nunez standing there, man? How many people are in this wall, dude? Look at Olise just standing there. Imagine if someone hits Olise of, of all the people. There we go. McAllister looks like he's going to take it. Predictable. Great block there by Eze. Out. Lovely move there. Lovely move there by Curtis Jones. Try to try to overcook there. Oh, 
who knows with the one of the worst throw-ins you have seen today. Lazy pass there by Olise. Lazy pass. Oh no. Oh my god. Great save there by Anderson. What a lazy pass there by Olise that almost became disastrous. Just disastrous almost. Oh, bad touch there by Hughes. There we go. Mateta has come in to help sweep. MG, let's go Palace. God, please make Palace win. Oh, wait, I'm going to hit this. Oh, hold it. Hold it. Clearance by Anderson. Liverpool hate takes you places, I guess. They almost got 2-0. I don't know if you saw. Um... Goal line clearance by Robertson after the first goal. Minutes after the first goal. Fulham still winning at this point of time. Which is good news for us. On, hold on boys 10 more minutes just hold on for a bit as if it's a through oh no yeah too much pace on these passes, man, from so close. By the way, what happened between Ganacho and Ten Hag? Nothing happened. Somebody, uh, he liked a couple of tweets, basically. And uh, Ten Hag basically threw Ganacho under the bus. Post-match conference when someone asked him, why didn't he come out for the second half? And then he, he blamed uh, the goals on the right-hand side being open and people not doing their jobs. The problem everyone didn't like about it is, and I'm talking about fans, is that the whole season when people weren't doing their jobs, no one gets called out. But he calls out Garnacho and he scape scapegoats a 19-year-old. So a lot of fans are not very happy about that. Um, Rashford played another 90 minutes. Death Slayer, so... Yeah, a lot of people aren't happy with that. The fact that he threw Garnacho under the bus when Garnacho in recent history has been actually helping him get out of trouble. Uh, most people are under the idea that he's not going to go past this season. So, few more games of Ten Hag and I think we're done uh, this season. Right now, it's quite predictable that he's not going to stay, it seems. Everyone feel, has a feeling he's not going to last. Ten Hag's media management is questionable. It's not questionable. You know what it is? Uh, apparently. Now, there's no way I can uh, determine this for sure, obviously. But apparently, the Dutch style of, of like dealing with this is very direct and very blunt. Because uh, when he first came, people were complaining about his uh, the way he gives interviews. Very sharp and very uh, like he didn't, he wasn't giving much to the interviewers, so the interviewers were getting very frustrated. But then, like, someone basically tried to explain, like, in, in, the, in the Dutch league, the Dutch managers are mostly very, you know, direct and blunt. They don't have, like, you know, it's not like a Pep Guardiola, you know, where he starts moving his hands and starts saying words and stuff. So, he's very, he's very blunt. Uh, not justifying anything he did he shouldn't have gotten up and left when he was asked about the position uh, and could finish as the worst Manchester United coach uh, ever even though he has the second best win rate ever uh, that's funny in its own way but um, 
Yeah, he. I think the pressures finally. Cra- I think the Bournemouth game finally got to him. I think the Bournemouth game finally got to him. It's another game where we only used two subs out of our five. It's really a really bad bad performance. I mean, nothing is worse than the Brentford performance, but it wasn't. It, let's just say the pylon was insane. We should have been above Aston Villa and. Uh, Spurs right now. We have taken six points in the last twenty-one points. Six in the last twenty-one. We are only we are currently as it stands eight points behind. Uh, eight points behind um, Spurs and Aston Villa. Even if we took even if we took fifteen points right now, we would have been one or two points ahead of them. So our conversion rate of uh, us losing points have really been very detrimental to us. Brentford and Chelsea game would have been four more points. Four more points would mean we'd be four points away from them at this point of the season from both of them. So really bad. Uh, who do you want as the next coach? If I'm being completely honest, I'm being completely honest. Uh. I'm going to laugh at this one, but I'd want a Wigman as coach. That was that's actually the coach I'd want. Wigman. Yeah, that's the coach I, I was hoping England would get. Also, actually, to be honest. Just hold on, boys. Now, don't do anything stupid, please. You'll have five minutes to hold on. I'm trying to be too smart, man. Why? Why do I want Serena be a big man? Because she's a she's an actual winner. She turned she turned an a so so England side into being un way to <laughs> Serena Wigman. Serena Wigman is the former England. Women's coach, you know the one who went on the undefeated run until the World Cup final. So she she almost went back to back tournaments undefeated for the England women's side. A Euro to her name and a second place final, second place finish at the World Cup. That's the only match she lost in tournaments. Um, yeah, I would like her as our manager or England's men's team manager. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm being serious. Believe it or not. Might sound impossible, but I still would like a shot. Oh, Allison gets down easy to save that. Crystal Palace have been a little wasteful here with their attempts in the attacking third. You're rolling me. I'm not rolling you. Dude, that woman's a badass. She took a so-so England team to go undefeated in two tournaments until the finals of a World Cup. She made them European champions. Like I, I get, I get that it sounds like a jokey joke thing, but why can't a woman coach a man's team if they're successful? Oh, that it's over, it's over, it's over. Oh, Nathaniel Klein with a the save there against his uh, boyhood club. Mad. Shavi? Uh, no, not Shavi. I don't. If Shavi finds it to be pressureful, pressure. In uh, Barcelona, being a Barcelona legend, in, in in United, he's going to get cooked. With respect, and I I prefer to not have Xavi get cooked. Uh, just because he comes from somewhere else and he coaches you. No, but just to answer your question, I'm not trolling. I'm I'm really not. Have you seen a women coaching a men's team? I actually have, but I don't remember where. I think it was in the Bundesliga. I think she was an interim because the guy got sacked. I'll have a look at that in the, uh I'll have a look at that in in uh, during the the half time break because if I remember clearly I remember reading that somewhere I think it was this season I don't think there's a rule against it though Jayesh that's that's the main thing as long as there's no rule against it I don't see why the problem is uh if not Serena Wigman uh, an actual winner something we don't have in this team uh I would take uh, Inzaghi Sabine needs to coach Southgate. Is her name Sabine? I keep saying Serena for some reason. Her name is Sabine, is it? Never mind. Apologies. 
uh, she needs to coach south bro please man she would have that england team cooking dude telling you see what she did with the india uh, the women's team man seriously you just need a proper disciplinary no bullshit dude like an emma hayes or a serena wigman sorry sabine wigman just need someone who's just disciplined man you know who cares if she's a woman she'll bollock them dude that's for sure that'll be the best part oh that's a horrible pass here trust trust konare to be as clumsy as he looks here we go here we go square it oh he didn't square it too much time on the ball man these guys they just and they're being very frivolous with their attempts on goal man someone will think they're man city they're getting all the opportunities in the world nice move there by tarik machal <coughs> when the uh, throw in i just what was that by oli say really oh over the bar sing got pushed bro what's happening to konate right now is it van dyke it is van dyke yo van dyke's getting shook here today He's getting a bit shook today, Van Dyke. Let's see this allegation of a push. Jack him, Jack him. Yes, that's what I'm talking about, Anderson. Hold the ball, Matata. Don't do silly stuff. Oh my God, what is Eze doing, man? He clearly got laid off by Matata over that. Emma Hayes is a Karen. I don't use Karen lightly. Hey man, you know what? She's still better than Southgate. You know why? Cuz she wins. Speaking of which, I believe we have to play Oh, I believe we are playing Chelsea in the FA Women's Cup semi-final in in a few minutes. If I'm not mistaken, it's Spurs and Leicester on one side and Chelsea and United on the other. I think our side of the brackets the one that's going to win. That's pretty cool. Get an FA Cup semi-final men and women's. That's nice. What about Ruben Amore? Apparently, might uh, might be in uh, taking the Liverpool job. I take Inzaghi. I take Inzaghi. Uh, the bad news is we might be linked with Southgate because Southgate, I think, is out of a contract after the international uh, tournament. I don't know why we would take him because he won't be there for any of the preseason. And uh, in case you're wondering why I'm saying that is. <clears throat> the day after the euro finals is our first friendly in pre-season so if we are to go for gareth southgate he will literally have no days and i mean no days pre-season so that's horrible i'm not watching my game i'm going to i'm going to split i'm going to split dude like i can't do back to back watch longs man especially after the ufc one 4 hours in the morning so we're going to have it side by side we were keeping an eye on the earlier game uh KKR won by 8 wickets and like 4.2 overs left and uh, we were seeing the salt got 89 i believe palace leading with uh, what the hell yeah 13 minutes women's cup yeah it doesn't matter dude what what okay what does gareth southgate have what does gareth southgate have two years at middlesbrough and what what does he have how is he, how is he better how is he better than any other coach that you can find Emma Hayes has league titles Serena Wigman has <laughs> euro titles like what what exactly does Gareth Southgate have oh full time i mean sorry half time no extra time was it was it one minute extra time was it never mind what do they have dude they got nothing that's what they've got absolutely nothing you've been busy this week in general all the cricket bro i've been really like jensen honestly i i think i fell asleep at the beginning of the week for one of the streams like someone has like a profile picture of me sleeping like when i mean sleeping i mean like just nodding off to death absolutely going going to a different planet yeah. like totally compromised one of the days I was that tired judging english tactics is beyond me i know who ruben amadim is just sporting coach i know who he is
Cheers. Electrolytes. Someone should seriously sponsor me. Ah, uh, the honest work is the best kind. Hi, are you seeing the same narrative around ETH news about losing dressing room? I mean, listen, Devish, he doesn't do himself any favors by walking out of a press conference, does he? He just doesn't, does he? Am I am I seeing the same narrative? He looks more and more broken every week, dude. I feel like you don't even need to see the news to look at that, unfortunately. I'm trying my best as well. Great effort, Nathan. Yeah, what's going on? Little effort goes a long way sometimes. Yes, please share the channel support as well. Yes, that would be nice. Thank you. Blue on the Electra. Hope somehow Liverpool drop points today. Mohammed is looking very likely. I'm not going to lie. However, even if they drop points today, it won't, they still won't be far off, will they? That's how close the title race is. So even if they somehow manage to drop points, it won't be enough to make any difference this week at least. A long time ago, what do you do for come from what? Okay. But the press conference ended already. I heard he was going. Apparently, he didn't like the last answer, the last question, and then he said, I'm not answering any more questions. And I think he got up and went. Mumbai Indians won toss again. We knew we know what is going on. Yeah, we are winning. That's what's going on. I'm glad you recognize that. Shreyas with a 38 from 38. I mean. It's almost like these people don't understand what a T20 match is. 4.2 was left to spare. Mohsin getting both the KKR wickets. Electra has admit, check the back of your ORS sachet. It's clearly mentions that it can't fix diarrhea, but people use it massively exactly for that. Bro, I use it to stay hydrated. Diarrhea, you can use something like, uh, what is it called? Imodium. Chama. Shut up, Russian smashing you guys today, bro. Bro, that guy needs a haircut, man. He's not smashing anything. Trust me. If you know, you know. What he needs is a haircut. Who's gonna stop KKR? CSK already did, didn't they? UFC 300 WrestleMania lived up to the hype. What a fight for the BMF title and Chama. Yeah. Women's fights underwhelming though. It was not the it was not the best placement for them to be honest. So interesting looking colors here by LSG. Can't help but feel like it looks a little. It looks like an old. It looks like an old West Indies uh, kit, actually, in in a weird way. At least a lot of it. Actually, you know, maybe it looks more Bangladesh. I can't make out where this kit looks familiar from. I guess this is their away kit. Speaking of United, I haven't heard your take on Amarim getting the green light. I've seen the jokes, but no genuine options. Well, we have plenty of genuine options. Amarim just seems like the one everyone wants to pick. Uh, Southgate apparently is on the shortlist. Um, we haven't played against CSK. Neither what you're talking about. Yes, Tony gave me a lot of pain, so I wiped my memory. <laughs> He's somehow related to Mohan Bagan. You know what? That is what the color also looks like. Interesting. RCB is not only last, but also has the worst run rate. <laughs> Uh, my thoughts on Ruben Amarim are very simple. He seems to be the popular choice at the moment for whatever reason. Um, there are there are options. Uh, options like uh, I, well, shouldn't say there are options. You can literally go and take break anyone's contract if you're willing to pay. So technically, everybody is an option. Um, Southgate because he's ending his uh, national run, I think, with his tournament is one person. 
The other person could be Simone Inzaghi, which I wouldn't mind. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, some guy named Anna Sloth. I think I said if I I don't know if I said that name right. That name I heard. I heard uh, Graham Potter. We have options. I just don't think they're very good ones. Unfortunate. Ashipa uh, should change their name to Full Toss Bangalore. Yes, they want some crowd support. Zidane. Nah, Zidane, Zidane doesn't want to coach in England apparently. I don't know what that's all about. But apparently he doesn't want to coach in England. I like the sound of an Inzaghi. Yeah, that would be nice. That would be nice. But Zidane ain't teaching the prime stop at. I mean, he does, he is a genuine option. He just doesn't want to coach in England. So, Johnson, imagine if he did. We can only imagine how Liverpool playing. I have Mateta in my FPL. Uh, they started off shaky, man. It would have been two 0 uh, Robertson made a goal line clearance. Van Dyke fell over, all over himself. Van Dyke and Konate are looking really shaky. Alexis Mal- McAllister is looking dangerous. Darwin Nunez is uh, whatever you'd like to call whatever he does or regularly. And Salah has been very quiet. Wataru Endo has been very good defensively. Uh, they have been bombarding the left hand side more than the right hand side, even though Salah is the most dangerous player more. And uh, Nathaniel Klein has been doing a good job of keeping uh, Diaz quiet for the most part. Uh, on the other hand, on the other end, Mateta and Eze in particular have been quite uh, troublesome. Um, Olise is looking a little bit off the mark, man. I don't, I'm not really sure what's going on there. Keeps getting injured this whole season, so yeah. What happened to Salah? He's just, he's just been kept quiet, dude. He's just been kept quiet. They've done a good job. Tyreek Mitchell has been also good there on the left hand side as a wing back, going back and forth, back and forth, they're creating issues. Uh, left hand side of Crystal Palace and the left hand side of Liverpool have been doing most of the donkey work today. Liverpool did hit the bar. They did hit the bar. Liverpool did hit the bar, that is true. And uh, good save by Anderson of Diaz is Bali, which looked like a very awkward one. That also happened. Harvey Elliott bring more flair than Salah these days. You know what, dude? I think Salah, I, I have a feeling Salah, Van Dyke, and Klopp are not going to be here next year. If I'm not mistaken, I think uh, Van Dyke's contract's also ending. So, Or he has like one of those one year deals, so they might sell him before, you know, they get let him go for free. I have a feeling that Salah also is on, in the same boat. I think he might want to go to Saudi or something. So let's see what happens. There's a good chance for Olise, but decided to challenge in a Romelu Lukaku first touch. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's been off a little bit. Hey, Aditya, what's up? Bro, Ro Sharma legit looks five months back. Bro, I'm telling you, they, they flash back to an innings from five years ago. He looked half the size, man. I don't know what's going on. I'm not really sure what's going on there with him. I think he might be just winding down now. That's what it seems like in a, in a weird way. Nabi bowling the first over again like last time. Mohamed Nabi. Rohit should start learning what up our recipes. Bro. He makes too much money to learn how to cook, man. Let's be honest. He has those Central A contracts. He's not learning how to make what up our anytime soon. Let's, let's be real about this. It's never gonna happen. Atatas walking into the tunnel. Declan Rice with his old school earphones. That's interesting. He's getting paid well, man. Apparently not. There we go. Rilka both oily khana bana diya. Well, listen, man. Good wife, good life, dude. You know what I mean? Let me be honest. The only thing Asif and Anupam look a lot similar. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, before before uh, Anupam has all the facial hair. Yeah. Yeah. Rani opening, Rani opening today. Didn't he open last time even? Or, or is it Ravindra? Ravindra is looking nervous too. Seems like the magic of the clock 
leaving moment is gone now the leaders look like they aren't sure they can do this but the youth are hungry don't know why Klopp don't play the hungry players well he's going he's finishing off with a with a with how he came in right with a bunch of his players i can understand why but it's going to be fun seeing what happens to them next season have you watched bologna this year no what with that with that crazy motta doing 319 or whatever whatever that ridiculous formation he does 1 1 2 7 or whatever no but i heard he's, i heard they've been doing well and i heard that that's why we are interested in that zerxi fellow apparently but i haven't seen it only khan companies on the verge of getting completely done he has too much money for that matthew sorry to disappoint you my friend he owns a football franchise and an nfl franchise do you think he's going to get bankrupt with doing a wrestling company you are you're greatly mistaken sorry to disappoint you but he's not going anywhere Yes, how is Thiago Motta? People have started typing him up. I've heard about this Thiago Motta way before, but with this way he was doing this formation thing. I've heard about him from from a while now. Not hyped up, but I heard about this uh, way he plays football from forever now. And um, I don't know if it's hyped up or not, but. Every time he gets a little more success, it seems to it seems to be a bigger deal. AEW is becoming WCW day by day. Last time I checked, WCW used to put on good matches, dude. I feel like you guys don't remember that. Let's see what they do in Dynasty. I think uh, Danielson and Osprey are going to br- blow the roof of the place. But I'm sure you guys aren't going to even admit that, even though they'll have one of the best matches probably the whole year. But let's see. Ah, oh, that villain grin. Are you trying to swoop in on an endo? No, thank you, bro. I don't want any Liverpool players. Please, thank you. We can. Oh, here we go. Please tell me that's good. Oh, there's no fielder. Oh. Rani, I mean, I don't know where that ball was going, but it went for a boundary. Four for a nice shot there. I don't think that was planned, right? It looked like it edged. I yeah, heard about him during Spezia 272 vertical form. Yeah, some mad thing, dude. He did that. I think uh, when he was was he uh, coaching in France even before Italy. Some some mad number, of, some mad formation, dude. Like you can get away with it in some places, man. You can't get away with it everywhere, dude. It's crazy. AW is one of the reasons for the improvement of WWE exactly. But Matthew is such a homer for WWE that he has no interest in recognizing that. Then do you think uh, Pereira can go, uh, could go up to a weight? Yeah, of course he could go up to a weight. Did you see what happened? He he gained twenty three pounds after the weigh in yesterday. Twenty three pounds, like less than twenty four hours after the weigh in, he put on twenty three pounds. Let that sink in for a second. He's already at the heavyweight limit. You have to be above two twenty, I think. No. You have to be two or six to be a heavyweight. Technically, he's already a heavyweight. He's just going to make sure his cardio is good, and he's not going to cut too much weight. He'll probably weigh in at two twenty-five as a heavyweight. So yeah, I definitely think he could go to heavyweight. The question is, could he get knocked out by a heavyweight? Well, if Israel Adesanya knocked him out. I don't know what to tell you, man. I think a heavyweight's gonna knock him out. Well, then, what do you think will be an interesting possibility next season? Uh, for what? For management? What? What are we talking about, Jensen? Just imagine if he goes up and beats Aspinall. I don't think he's gonna beat Tommy Aspinall. Aspinall will take him down. Trust me. Aspinall's father is one of the first, uh, one of the first few uh, jujitsu black belts in the UK. One of the first uh, pe- Englishmen to get a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. Uh, he's not. He's not gonna. He's not gonna make it look like a joke, man. Second half has started. How's your health nowadays? I can't complain, Mohammed. Can't complain. <sighs> can't complain. They're bringing Sabzi Mal. <laughs> oh, they are. I'm telling you, when they were, when they almost went two down, they were looking desperate, genuinely. See what happens now. I look at their wingers. How far they track back, man! Oh, that's beautiful move there. Yeah, oh, 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 wow! Bradley's holding himself. He actually fouled Eze. 
think he might get a yellow for that actually. It was a good move there by Olise. Oh, oh crap! Oh, that's an awkward landing on your knee. Oh no! You know you can rip your ligaments that way, man. Oh no! Yo, this kid's already getting damaged. This is not good. You said it'll be interesting to see Liverpool next season. Uh, what I think Amorim is going to Liverpool. That's what I've heard. But what's really going to be interesting is to see how they play in a non-clop, uh, non-clop era, new style of someone else's football. And it's going. I'm I'm very interested to see if their youth academy emphasis will be there now that Klopp's not there. It's another thing I'm interested in seeing. Oh wow! Oh wow! They're asking for they're asking for the sub. Your twenty locks is coming on. Look at him. Now watch, now watch as they cook this fool, man. We get ready. Watch as they cook this guy now. It's going to be brilliant. Nani defending a ball in T20. Hey, once a test batsman, always a test batsman. Seems like Rajkumar Rao has undergone cosmetic surgery. Thoughts? Um, normal today. Normal these days, right? Karthik Aryan looks a little bit different too. Has anyone noticed seeing the Champions League ads? I didn't want to say anything, but... Uh, he looks really different. If you see some of his, uh, if you see some of his, like his debuting uh, movies, if you see his face, he looks a little different, man. I'm just, uh, just saying, just saying. Well, that di- didn't work, Rani out. <sighs> Listen, man, the wipeout begins. It's time to cl- climb up now. We gave everyone a head start, zero for three. Now we move. Oh, geez, that's not good. He's getting support from two guys to walk off the pitch. Twenty locks is there. Oh, I feel bad for that kid, man. He he's done such a good job. As Trent Alexander Arnold was healing his boo boos. Missed the previous seven PL matches, knee injury. Two goals, four assists this season. Wow, he's also had a poor season, huh? even though Liverpool's been doing so well. I know he's missed seven games, but two goals and four assists. I think Connor Bradley has that many goals. Completely looks different. You saw the pick. He looks completely different. You saw the picks. Which, who are we talking about? Rajkumar Rao? No, I have not. But like I said, it seems like that's a new thing nowadays. Let's see what's up, okay? Give everyone a head start by not buying umpires. Now we go. Bro, you, your team, <laughs> even if they bought umpires, I don't think they would be able to last that long, sadly. Uh, you, could, you could do whatever you'd like and I don't think it would work. That's the kind of bad luck. Where, oh, holy shit. Oh, I shouldn't be laughing. That's rude. Oh, boy. Trendy locks to trendy fade. <laughs> right? Wasn't that, wasn't that his... Uh, wasn't that like his Instagram name at some point? Trendy locks? Like with a T? Trent? Trendy locks? You know, when he had the when he had the locks? I believe he was called, his Instagram name was Trendy locks. Oh, I read that somewhere, man. I found that hilarious. Trendy locks. I'm gonna. I, I can't do them both, so I'm gonna have to need the power of Google to keep me uh, testing. Uh, keep me a track of what's going on here. Cozy. Oh my God! The Karate Kid has done it again. That's that's the person who got it. Dravindra on two runs. Guy Quad on one run. Oh, I can I can smell the battering that's about to happen. Umrah has not even showed up yet and they've already lost a wicket. Oh, this is great. This is fantastic. We're seventh place right now. Let's see how long that goes. 
like goldilocks but the, but this bears look his porins is shattered oh god thank god he's gone back to his haircut dude it was looking so weird man bobbing around it didn't look even it didn't look like he's taken care of it it just looked weird like you know if you if you take care of dreads they can really look cool but they yeah, just look random random uneven dreads bro like got to keep it even man it looks cool looks better at least also i felt like the dreadlocks were making him look like an old man dude. genuinely like he looks so much younger now with the short fade other teams attacks in power play csk build innings ah uh, build is it let me know when rachin ravindra gets out before the power play what building they're doing oh dink ball by us oh my god man cross was in time another chip oh nice one by munoz us oh hits his own player mata attack tries to get there oh no 50 50 but a foul No, oh, why did he hit Matata, dude? Terrible. Ref is a tool. It's one kind of tool, that's for sure. Oh, Nabi is getting a second over. This is brilliant. Nabi. I don't understand the use of him if I'm being honest. I feel like we should use some other overseas player. I get it he he does kind of like a, a little bit of the all-round thing but still it's a bit of a danger. Imagine Nabi bowling to uh, Sunil Narayan. Oh my god. We won't see him pass the first over will we? So far it's been a good over though. one boundary from from his uh, spell so far oh crap i jinxed it wait ah oh, it's going over this could be this is why you don't give him more than one over i guess six yep there comes the first six from rutraj i don't know but kartik aryan doesn't look so drastically different you know just look at this area dude just look at this area take a close look something's going on there so i'll say swept straight to the fielder shane wants no yes yeah i do sometimes it happens when you get older do let the man live do oh crap i forgot they got moen ali as well Oh, they got Mitchy Sand seven. Oh, those are the substitutes. Interesting. They're obviously going to use Mohan Ali as an impact player, aren't they? Well, they actually might not. It depends on the score, I suppose. Yes. Tight finish to the over there. A little bit more expensive, but I don't think Nabi is going to be used it used anymore. Sala tried to go there. And Curtis Jones, oh, another corner here for Liverpool. Flailing header. Oh my God! Darwin Nunez is the worst player in the world, dude. He's the absolute worst player in the world. He was completely open, and he hits it straight at Henderson. He is absolutely shit. I don't want to hear any of these people tell me, "Wow, he's got 20 GA, dude." Look at that. All the time in the world, he literally hits it straight at the keeper. So oh, this guy, he's not good at bro, bro. He really is Timo Werner. He really is Timo Werner regen, isn't he? He really is. I mean, his finishing is horrid, and yet they keep choosing to play him at le- at striker instead of the left wing. Dude. He's so much better at left wing. I don't know why they they still try to do this, as they try to be too funny there instead of just driving with the ball. Lost it instantly. Liverpool are back on the counter. Why is he? Why is Eze trying to be too fancy, man? Come on, just hold the ball. Just drive the ball and hold it seriously. 
I mean, look at this straight at him. Oh, he's horrendous, man. This is why I'm ahead of FPL. I didn't buy Nunes. I haven't. I think I bought Nunes maybe for one game week sometime in the. I don't even remember having Nunes. I've had Salah. I've had Bradley. Uh, I don't think I bought anyone else from Liverpool this season. Could have gone with Konate or Van Dijk, honestly, but no goalkeeper, nothing. It's only been Salah. Salah and uh, Bradley recently. Just kicked down the middle. Seriously, man. I mean, he didn't even pick any side. Like, just straight at the goalkeeper. Just horrible. I mean, his finishing is shocking for a professional uh, footballer. Who everyone insists can play striker. He's just so clearly better off in, on the wing. And Jota would have, would have finished that cold. cold. Liverpool are losing it a bit. Wild passes. Fulham still leading at this point. I really needed a Muniz goal. But I don't think I'm going to get one. Bumrah coming in. Sorry, Bumrah coming in. The ball. It's a very weird run up as well. Kind of stiff power walking moves before he starts running. Ah, but I'm saying Karthik got that face structure, so it got gelled up. But Josh Kumar looks like a boy from the neighborhood right now, Christian Way from Beach. I mean, they teach kids to pick a side one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. He clearly should not be a striker. If you go on a Liverpool fan channel, they'll say you don't watch the game enough. If he was so bad, how did he get 20 GA? Like, there's no point. But it it started really annoying them because apparently they missed some really uh, uh, sitters at Atlanta as well. They were really upset with Darwin Nunez during the midweek. And I heard someone on a on a fan channel just before I came on saying I, we didn't expect Darwin to start. So, you know, those people are going to lose their mind after, if this game ends like this. Truly shocking, shocking uh, kind of player. RCB impact player is Nitish Menon, is it? I mean, doesn't the impact require to actually have one? Irrespective of names. Oh, come on, Bumra. Why are we bowling wides from around the wicket? I think Rachin is feeling pressure. Nah, why would he do it? He's supposed to he's supposed to get a shook today. Let's see. Another corner for Liverpool. Why is Mitchell the one on uh, on Van Dyke? That's crazy. They're getting these second bounces in the box, dude, but they're just not being able to do anything about it. Pass by Trent Alexander Arnold. Some futsal moves being done here. Clearance, please. Was like practicing his cricket shots. You know who uh, Nite Man is? He's the Empire, is he? <sighs> Wait, one moment. I guess they have changed the Empires from when I used to watch it regularly. Then he's MI's first 12 player. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Don't know what you're talking about. Our players do our, do our talking on the pitch, my friend, not on the ads. You know, they spend less time on the ads, dude. If you know, you know. Hi, mother. Come on, let's get Rat Ravindra out so we can be done with this game. Oh, he's feeling it, dude. He's feeling it. The curly head, the curly head no, sensation. Really feeling the pressure. On the legs, Bumra. Come on, man. Six runs from the wall. That's a terrible ball there by Bumra. 
Poor, 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 poor. A wide and four runs off the leg side. Wild bowling. Rutu slapped MI for four. Bro, they're going at six runs and over, dude. Settle down. Slapped him. Settle down. I guess Mudwal's going to come on now, isn't it? Shut up, bro. You're in seventh place. In seventh place for now, cuz. Started zero for three. We should be dead last at, the, at this point. But we're not. Oh, oh, oh. Some madness happened on the field there. Nunez. Oh my god. This touch is even bad, man. Like. How do they expect this guy to be a striker? I don't get it. Just put him on the wing, man. Luis Diaz has a better touch than him. Seriously. It's hospital touches, dude. Oh my god. What a horrendous foe. Horrendous foe there. Clearance by Konate. Bro, Liverpool look like they don't know what they're doing, man, today. Should I feel bad? I don't want to feel bad. Why would I feel bad, actually? Eric Mitchell, there you go, Olais, man, I'm telling you, Olise is looking so bad right now, he's just so wasteful at the moment, ref is actually a joke, he must be scared of the Liverpool fans, the karate kid is, uh, got taken for a six just now, sorry about that. Kodze, Kodze getting whacked down third man. Was it four or was it six? I thought that was a six. Ten runs, not good. Terrible pass there with an opportunity to actually get on the counter. Crystal Palace are literally giving the ball back to them every time. Munoz with the header. Olise and Ezid did just come back from India, yeah, but Olise is like being very wasteful, man. It's not a, it's not good uh, at Anfield to just be wasteful. Uh, like just keep, keep the ball ticking. He's trying, he's trying to be too cute. Got to be one of the worst days of my life, man. I couldn't convert. I am, am the bath. It's all right, but it's all right. I mean, listen, you got your business. You got your family, you got your cricket matches, you got your girlfriend. Life can be a lot worse, buddy. Life can be a lot worse. Imagine losing at interview stage, LOL. I mean, listen, isn't that where most people lose? Isn't that like the most difficult one? I don't even know why they need to interview a student if, if, they, if they meet the curriculum guidelines, like the, the marks and everything. But, yeah. Hard luck. Oh my god, Kodzi is just giving away runs now. This is horrible. Every time, every time we find some oh, more full toss. That's that's horrible. He actually hit a full toss. Off his off his uh, pads. Very frivolous with his bowling as Kodzi. Probably all them transfer rumors getting to his head LOL. Seriously, right? People are saying we have to pay 60 million for him. I'm like, you're crazy, man. He's injury prone. Why would we do that? Come on, Kurzi has to get the wicket now, man. He's getting too frivolous with the deliveries. Much better there by Kurzi. Another block there. Not going to lie, man. The left-hand side of Crystal Palace has been doing really, really well. Another clearance by Konate. He just, he just wants to make sure he doesn't fall over himself. Fulham still leading. Here we go. The changes have been made. Who's it? Timo. Timo Nunez is off. 
Get out, you clumsy boy. Oh, wow, Diaz out too. Wow, he's really not happy with them. Cody Gakpo, who arguably might be worse than them. Chota's on. Here we go. Now this could be a problem. 60 million, the new 30 million. Well, then he's not worth it at all. Whichever price that is. I mean, they shortlist 1k out of 3 lakhs. Then they shortlist the top 300 after the interview. Oof. Rough. Here comes Jota. Yep. This is, this, this is where the problem really begins. If you, if you watch football. You're getting the clinical guy for instead of the not so clinical guy. <coughs> oh my god, that was already almost a goal. Straight to Anderson. I was going to go for Havertz instead of Diaz. Now I regret it. Are the fans are just appealing for anything now? Ooh, run out opportunity there. Not out though, based on what I've seen. As a offside. Thing is, I think Diaz has more influential games than Salah. He probably does. Salah, uh, to be fair to Salah though, how old is he? Like, how many years has he been at the elite level though? Eventually, he's going to get a decline. There we go. Or let's say off for Ayu. Thank God, man. Genuinely, he's, he's had a horrendous game. Been extremely wasteful. I know he's coming back from injury, but... You can't afford you can't afford to fool around in this game, dude. Jordan, are you four goals club high of six assists this season? Hello, someone. <coughs> Excuse me. Are you coming on? Yep. Don't don't let him dink ball into Saboslai. What a pass! What a pass to Saboslai and what a clearance by Joachim Anderson. I almost said Carl Drogo for go. There are worse things you can be called, dude. There you go. Sloppy slide is uh is that Ratchet Ravindra still desperately trying to get a shot in. Oh, just missed. Just missed there. Another offside. I don't know what Crystal Palace are doing, man. They're just turning over the ball again and again and again. It's a little crazy right now. It looks like coming from prison after 10 years sentence for drug dealing. And this is only after what, uh, one month, one and a half months of shaving, dude. Imagine what it really looks like. Oh, what's going on here, man? Between Madwal and, and Kodzi, dude. This is, why are they batting? Why are they bowling on leg stump when they have no leg side fielders? This is absurd, dear. The basics of bloody cricket, man. It's a polling leg side when there's nobody on the leg side around uh, on the boundary. Horrible, yeah. That has to be a yellow card. Get out, Jones. Dirty. Dirty, dirty. Imagine Gunther's the one to dethrone Cody. I'd be the happiest. He won't be, dude, because he's trying to be he's basically busy trying to dethrone a bag of chips on the regular. I think he doesn't know who Carl Drago is. Who, me? I don't know. 
I don't know who he is. Is he? Uh, I I didn't watch actually, but I'm pretty sure I, uh, you can still be called worse though, irrespective of who he is. Oh, I thought it was Jason Momoa's character. I haven't watched it by the way. Just just before anyone tells me anything, I haven't watched anything of it. I just uh, knew that uh, Jason Momoa was in it. Don't know how long he's a character for. I don't know what's the backstory, but yeah. He should got eliminated twice in uh, because of that boring Cody. Listen, dude. Like I said, he's busy trying to dethrone a packet of chips, dude. Jason Momoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm... After one year of no shaving, Nathan will be on the train track side back. We got gorilla who lost the pack. Yeah. You know what though? But the women will love it. Too. That's the main thing. Women love women love facial hair, too. except the one who likes uh, who li likes K-pop stars. Oh, they missed a the tapping again. Oh, these people they couldn't buy a chance at the rate they're going. Oh my God, you look like Carl uh, Rogers. Be honest, just finished the East Anglia question. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Okay, and we were saying nice things about Jota before he came on. We have to take it back now. We have to take it back. They're all crap at the moment. They're all crap at the moment, let's be honest. A lot of them. Has anyone seen the Fallout or the Fallout series? Is it, a, is it good? Do they do any favors to the, the game? Look at the Anfield crowd. Desperate. Desperate Anfield crowd right now. Complaining about time wasting. Desperate. So desperate. Oh, are you another good job? They're holding it. He sang is one of my favorite arcs. I absolutely adore the Oswald. Yeah, should learn. Remember when you first saw it in 2021, you looked like you were like Baba. <laughs> How did the guy become a name get named Ram Rahim anyway? So very interesting. Very interesting name. Tapi oh god, Matata! Oh my god, why is everyone missing the most easiest chances, man? Man, I feel so bad for Rasmus. If he got chances like this, he would have had 15 goals by now. Oh my god, I can't believe it, dude. That miss is worse than, worse than Nunez's. My god, they should have been 3-0 up, dude. Did, do, did a show in Fallout? Yeah, I literally just saw that on Amazon Prime. Yeah. And for me, it was boring. I didn't like the story to begin with. Loved it in the end, but they're definitely better arcs. Dude, you just just enjoy the ride of the game. Oh my God, hospital hospital attempt there by Nathaniel Klein. Oh, oh my God, what is happening today? Do you want a red body to have it? Have hair on your triceps, bro? I still have hair on my triceps. So nobody shaves your arms unless you are like in a bodybuilding competition. Oh my god, dude, I can't believe I'm watching all these chances and I feel so bad for Rasmus, dude. Rasmus would have pinged all these goals and genuinely the way he's starved for opportunity and these people are just getting opportunity after opportunity after opportunity. Seriously, that Mateta miss was probably worse than the Darwin miss. Unbelievable. Just can't believe this. SK currently going at eight runs and over. Nathaniel Klein on the ground. Three changes. Looks like Tompkins, Gehi, and Jairo Riedewald. Schlup, sorry, Schlup, Ward, and Riedewald. 
Gay is already on the pitch. Why did I say Gay? Someone on the pool bench was booting the heck out of the chair. <laughs> Only three people have hair on their triceps in this whole Milky Way galaxy. Ram Rahim. Well, it's nice to be in a good company, I suppose. I'll have to watch that. Yeah, I mean, I, you could watch it or you could just get a review on IGN and see if it's worth it. I think the series might be over. Or the first series, I guess. I saw it on IGN. What is this linesman doing? Look at Eze smiling, dude, as he waits for the change. Evil, evil, very evil. Nabi with a great over four from it. Redem redemption arc for Nabi. Slowing down the run rate, we like this. I also have hair on my arms, sign of high test. Sign of high testosterone also says uh, signs of lots of shaving to be done. Uh, the follow show is decent if you play the games, though you aren't missing much outside of a different story. I haven't played the games, but I saw on IGN that uh, the series was out. So if anyone was interested, I thought I'd just let them know. PL high 27 goals scored in the final 15 this season. Wow. How many of those were our goals, I wonder? How many of those goals were from United of the 27? Or against United, Urban? Oh, Schlapp keeps it in, but... <sighs> Crystal Palace are just giving them the ball, man. That's really bad. And a nice old school furniture, dude, which every Parsi household have. Oh, every Goen house has this, uh, someone. Every old Goen house. I don't know about Parsi houses in general, but uh, every old Goen house has these as well. Thanks for letting me know. No problem, Jaish. I was curious if anyone, because we were talking yesterday, right, about adaptations of video games. Then it just, just dawned upon me. I saw the ad uh, pass by like a few minutes ago. And uh, they said uh, Fallout, Amazon. So Fallout. Then I remember the IGN. Yes, Gopal coming to bowl now. Lovely. Ratchet Ravindra very, very nervous at the moment. More time wasting. Fulham 2. Fulham 2. West Ham. Nil. Last PL home loss, October 29, 2022. Don't be wasteful, Crystal Palace. Oh my God, dude. They're so, oh, they're so wasteful right now, man. Andreas Pereira, double. Wow. A double by Andreas Pereira. Fallout is one of the greatest Bethesda games. Petroda is a Parsi surname, right? Petroda? I don't think so. Not that I'm aware. I don't know anyone with, with a name like that. Actually, I've not heard of that name. Yes, good block there. Hold it, Matets. Oh, Schlapp, get there, man. You just got on the pitch, dude. Why are you running in slow motion? Yes. Yes. Oh, oh what the f What is Schlapp doing, man? Well, seriously. Oh, and we they've given the ball even. Fantastic. How horrendous have Crystal Palace been with their passing today, man? They started out so well. Ratchet out? Ratchet Ravindra! Ratchet Ravindra. My girlfriend had Petroda son. Nice. Oh my 
my god, ratchet, dude. Avi Elliot coming on. 81 minutes here. Shreyas Gopal. Has he done it? Has he gotten rid of the ratchet man? Come on. Contact. Contact. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. You curly head donkey. Go back home. Go back home. Yes. Can't keep the curls in his cap, bro. He's got he's done out here. See you later. There we go. More damage done. Speaking of more damage done. What the hell clearance was that, Anderson? You might as well have just let the ball bounce out. My girlfriend had no surname because she never exists. Hey, Petroda, it is. What do you mean Petroda it is? Jones out for Oh, Jones out for Elliot. He scored the match winner in the reverse fixture, apparently. Nathan, his home is in Bengaluru and nobody deserves to go back there. RCB is that team. His home's in New Zealand, dude, and he can stay there. Because he didn't do any damage to us this season. I was told he was going to smash us. Smash nothing, dude. Smashed nothing. And we only play CSK once this time, so. See you later. What was this commotion here? I don't know what Henderson was trying to do there. Munoz has defended well today. Shreyas Gopal gets hit for a 6 and then takes the wicket. Dubby is on. Shivam Dubby. Everybody's favourite. Dubby. It's a good ball. Good ball there. Good ball. 9 runs and a wicket from the over. Shreyas Gopal. Oh no. 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 Hold it. No! Oh. Man, Mateta has put in a real shift today. Look, the guy just fell, man. Eighty-four minutes. I think Fulham has. Basically got their three points. 86 minutes, 2-0. Oh, good clearance. Push them out, push them out, push them out. Come on, Mitchell. Cross comes in, gets cleared back out. Smash it! Good control there by Wharton. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Oh, almost fell it through Matata. Oh! Oh my god, the back pass touched Matata's foot, but it still went to Allison. Very close there. Man, they're trying to buy fouls and all instead of just passing the ball. Yeah, this is not a good strategy. This is not a good strategy. They keep, they keep trying to, they keep trying to buy buy fouls here. Mateta should have just passed the ball or laid it off earlier. Just trying to, uh, trying to get free kicks is, is not always going to work. There's plenty of time in the game still. Eighty-five and a half minutes.
No. Get it back in. Clearance. Oh, what are these guys doing? Seriously. Clearance by Anderson. Oh man, this is this is just. They need to really try and get a hold of the ball for the for at least a couple of minutes. They're just playing in Crystal Palace half. Huh? Yes, bro. Nathan has plenty of them. Ask him to borrow one. Is one goal enough? It's looking like it. Why are they bowling leg side when they don't have any fielders on the leg side? They are. I don't know what is Bumra doing today, man. They're so frustrating. Yeah. Asking to get hit on, on the leg side for a boundary. Come on. Gakpo, who has been quite useless this game since so coming on. They have all these wingers, and none of them are doing the job this season. Three minutes. Another clearance there by Joaquin Anderson. They really, really, they really got to try and keep this ball somehow, man. 87 and a half minutes. Cleared out. Keep the ball, keep the ball. How oh, is that not a foul, man? Now Allison's come all the way to the halfway line. Pereira scored second, yes, Vedant. There will be assist. 89 minutes. That game's almost done, by the way. 89 minutes there. Jackpo with all the space. Hasn't even passed the first player. There we go. Come on. Oh, what is this, man? Oh, misfielding there. I don't know what Mumbai Indians is doing right now. Yes. Oh, wow. Wow, exactly. Wow, 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 wow. You're losing. You're losing, you bad loser. Only one of y'all came to play football today. I'm sure that's the excuse you're going to give. Once a legend, say, Top can't believe how bad they are, yeah. Otson Edwards, come on now. Seriously, they should have been 3 0, dude. That goal line clearance and that Mateta chance, this should have been an absolute another 3 0 loss. Mateta off, yep. Good hold up, good hold up. Keep putting the pressure. Seven minutes of added time. Oh. This is like we got the eight minutes at Chelsea. Where the eight minutes came from, who knows? Eight minutes of extra time at Chelsea. Let's see. Seven minutes of extra time. Oh my God. Oh my God. A screw job without saying it's a screw job. There, Pandya gets taken for a four. First ball of a spell. Still blocked. Great block there by Tyrek Mitchell. 90 plus 2 at Fulham. The game's almost winding down.
Keep the ball, Crystal Palace. Six more minutes. Great job for Mitchell. Yep. Keep the ball, keep the ball, keep the ball, keep the ball, keep the ball. Are you are yeah, no one is there near him? This is mad, yeah. See, they're just giving the ball away, man. Great defending that by Lerma. Hold the ball. Oh my god, this ref. Just not keeping the ball, man. No support for Ayu there when he was alone there. Just to lay the ball off. 15 runs of Adik's over, really? Hey, uh, they're clearing the ball again and again and again instead of keeping the ball again and again and again. Four minutes extra time. Oh my god, what's happening in this over, man? 13 runs from the over. Cross comes in, nobody, you know, hold the ball, man, please. Munoz wants a yellow for diving or what? I don't know what that was, man. Eighty for two and ten overs. Oh my God. Two more home games for Jurgen Klopp. They're just not holding the ball, man. This is no. This is not good. This is not smart. I know it's easier said than done, but they're just they're just hoofing the ball every time they get the ball. If you're gonna lose the ball anyway, you might as well lose trying to keep it instead of just clearing the ball. Ninety-four and a half minutes. Robertson to Elliot. Great block there. Yes, yes, my God, Mitchell is looking absolutely gassed, absolutely gassed is Mitchell, one of the players of the game easily. Do you think we should try Shivam Dabi with Rohit and Gil at three? No, dude, I think Dabi is not, is not a good enough, honestly. Just don't think uh, he cuts the mustard, dude. You know, I think we need to go with like a Dinesh Karthik kind of, you know. Dinesh Karthik, a KL Rahul, that kind of. Chilling for the Arsenal game or no? I am going to take a little bit of a break, but I will be back, Jensen. Yes, we are. We are doing it. We are definitely doing it. I need to just sort out my dinner and uh, just like freshen up and then come back for the stream again. I did four hours earlier in the morning for the... UFC 300 stream event so I just I just want to keep like make sure I don't get oh we missed a catch there just make sure I don't get too drowsy 
went just past Hardik Pandya that catch. His name is Dubey. It's not. It's Dubby. Okay. It's not Dubey or Dubey. It's Dubby. Shivam Dubby. That's what we call him. What are these passes, man? Are these people just trying to make them score? They're just trying to make them score at this rate, dude. They're literally just giving them the ball again and again and again. Come on, 30 seconds. What's happening? Ninety plus nine minutes. What's going on at West Ham and Fulham, dude? Did someone get injured or something? Ninety plus nine. The match is still going on. That's insane. Lerma gets a yellow card. Oh, what is this? Oh my God! They have moved the ball into this half of the pitch. Alice, it's come on. Oh, this is great. Okay, all good. Wasn't sure if because of the stream last night. No, no, no. We're doing it. We're doing it for sure. Clear the ball. Out. Yes, full time, full time. Hey, isn't this Van Dyke's second back to back loss at Anfield after never losing whatever 1000 games? Well done, Dubby. What did Dubby do? Now we need to do the job. Yeah, you need to do the job because we ain't trying to see Aston Villa do anything either. That game's over. All right. I'm going to take about a half an hour break, guys. I will be back soon as possible. If you guys want to eat, go eat, come back, bring your food, whatever. And I'll see you there. I'll see you soon. Oh, what is this? to a fielder all right i'll see you for the arsenal aston villa game as we do the mumbai game side by side as well oh i'll see you in half an hour take care guys